So to use explain uh, edu, app looks like this. And when I open it, it asks me, do I want to create a new project, join or share? I want a new project. And it has some built-in canvas, um, blank canvas, so you can do a template or you can actually open up existing files if you just want to open up like a PDF and draw on it. Um, but if I start with a blank canvas, um, this app to me looks very similar to Inspire. It's got a whole bunch of buttons down here on the left-hand side. Um, your pencil one here is the one you're going to do most of your drawing and writing with. Uh, you change colors, sizes, those kinds of things. Uh, but it's here at the top, if I hit the plus sign, um, this allows you to insert things into it, which was pretty cool. Um, it did have the ability to insert pictures and videos. It has a little mini browser, which will open up a website. You can literally type in a website address, and it opens it uh, live within a, a browser in this little window. Um, but the advantage is once you do that, then you would hypothetically be able to write on, on top of it um, as it goes through. There it goes. Um, so I could actually draw and write and circle and do all that directly on top of that if I wanted to. Um, it also has an equation editor, which gives you full-on uh, equation access in your uh, flip charts, which I thought math teachers would love. And then it has um, some audio options, which I'll talk about in a section. Uh, you can insert files into it, and it'll take anything from your photos, um, Google Drive. Uh, it'll make you log in the first time you do it. But once you've logged in, uh, you can go in your drive and you can choose files and be able to import them directly into that. Um, you can also take uh, PDFs. Uh, and if I do a PDF and insert a PDF into that, uh, like, let's try uh, maybe this one right here. Uh, and hit import. It'll ask you, uh, do you want, if it's got multiple pages, it'll say, do you want all the pages? Or in, when you do, do you want those pages to be on separate slides? Or how you want those inserted, which I thought was pretty slick. Um, so if I said, yep, I want a separate slide, and then hit insert. And then down here at the bottom, these are my pages. And I can go back and forth from first page to second page. Uh, and then same deal, I can do all my annotation, my writing, my drawing uh, directly on top of it, like that. Um, and that same plus sign, it does have its own built-in clip art library, which is pretty cool. Um, just a whole bunch of built-in things. It's searchable. Uh, and if you just find one you want, it just drops it in there. You can tap and move them around. You can resize, pinch, and zoom to make it bigger, smaller, rotate, um, all that kind of stuff. If you, let's see, if I had the plus sign down here to make a new page, let's say uh, I draw something um, and I love this drawing and I think it's great. Um, I could actually use the little eye down here. This is what's called the inspector. And I could actually choose um, to tap on something and actually add it as clip art. And I could make this part of my clip art library uh, to be able to use it over and over and over again, uh, which is pretty cool. And I can also trash and delete and that stuff too. So uh, a pretty cool little app. It does have shapes. So if you were somebody who, um, let's say I have some text here, and then if I wanted to hide that I could do a shape and then be able to literally draw my own shape and it will let's try that again let me undo that let's try shape tool uh, I'm on the draw shape tool here too which will draw a shape and then it'll convert it to that or if I simply just chose a regular shape tool I could draw a rectangle and so on and then when I tap on it I could control um, the color um, I could control the line width if I wanted to uh, and set it to nothing if I want it invisible uh, and so on but I could move these on top of something else to hide um, just like we've done with Inspire in the past. So I could technically make this a white box if I wanted to and use that to hide things. And when I want to reveal it, then I could reveal it by dragging and swiping things around. Um, it does have the ability 
to control your presentation view. So whenever I'm uh, using this to maybe airplay, uh, I can switch to what they call presenter mode, which just gives you fewer tools, simplifies things, and it gives you more screen real estate. So you have more room to draw. And I can just tap to go back and forth, uh, depending on uh, which view I like best. So uh, pretty cool, pretty simple app um, called Explain Everything. My favorite part about the whole app is that at the bottom here, there is a red record button uh, with a microphone. If I tap that red record button, it will start recording my audio uh, and the video screen recording as I'm working. So I can go and teach my lesson and you know do uh, whatever it is that I'm gonna do that hour, and I go through and do it, and then I hit stop when I'm done, and it gives me a video and screen recording uh, of everything that I have done uh, in here. And then whenever I'm done with that, if I'm happy with, uh, with how that looks, I can actually hit this little share arrow up here in the upper right hand corner, and I can actually export this as a video. It'll ask me what do I want to do with it. I can just save that video, and it saves it right to my camera roll. Um, takes just a few a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how long the uh, video is. It saves it right to my camera roll. I can now put that in Google Classroom, throw it on YouTube, do whatever I want with it, which is pretty slick. So, so when I'm done, if I want to go back, I can hit my projects up here and go back. I do have a library, which gives me a library of all of the other projects that I have, um, everything in here. Uh, you can make folders if you want to, to be able to organize things. It looks to me to be a pretty cool, pretty powerful uh, whiteboard app.